Well, we all know dachshunds for their amusing body shape and persistent barking that could scare any suspicious mailman away. Our next guest can tell you that they also make great racers on the ice. And Diane and Doug Wade from Dakota Dachshund Rescue and Jim Olander from the Sioux Falls Stampede are here to talk about a fan favorite that takes 40 dachshunds to the ice and uh, races them. How can we get in the action on this? This is amazing. Jimmy, thanks for being here. Doug and Diane, let's meet our two celebrity racers today. Who, are, who do we have with us? This is Barney. Barney. And this is Hades. Hades. Nice. Are they racers? Um, Will they be racing? Only if there are open spots. Gotcha. So. So they're on the uh, on the reserve team. Yes, yeah. they are. They've been practicing. They've been, yeah, exactly. yes, they've they've been, been practicing. Absolutely. So let, let, let's talk about uh, first off the uh, um, let's talk about the game because this has been going on for a long time. We'll start with Jim down at the end. And Jimmy, this has been wh when was this started? This whole this is well. Whole this deal. is our 11th uh, anniversary. So we started it uh, 11 years ago and uh, just kind of had a thought that this would be kind of a funny thing to try. And I still remember the first race we had. <laughs> I think we had 30 dogs lined up and we had. Uh, only one actually ran the rest of them all looked at each other so it's come a long way now people uh, literally train their dogs and it's, it gets pretty competitive they're pretty into it so you can see by some of the highlights uh, they're talking to their dogs they've got rituals that they go through so um, but it's just become you know a fan favorite and it's just a lot of fun makes for a good family friendly night it's hard to believe that it's been 11 years already and I want to credit Jimmy O. this was Jimmy I know it was a bunch of people but Jimmy O had this idea and, uh, and, with, and it's probably been the most often imitated but yet not able to be duplicated <laughs> event in, in sports marketing today around the country now. I mean, this is a big deal. I've seen other teams try to do this, and they just don't do it as well as the Stampede does. So, right, But way to go, that. Jimmy, on that. So, But that's a big deal. I mean, it's a lot of fun, and, and it really adds to the, the game and whatnot, and, and it's fun to see that. And they have jerseys now, too. I mean, they have yeah. uniforms. Yeah, we have little jerseys that each of them get. Uh, each of the racers gets a jersey, and then the humans get an actual T-shirt that we give them as well. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and it's a one game, you know, that that really you don't have to be a sports fan, you don't have to be a diehard hockey fan, but it's one of those games where we have so much other stuff going on that we think that, you know, you're going to enjoy the race, but you're going to enjoy the game too, and you're going to walk away having a lot of fun and hopefully want to come back to some more Stampede games. So, Diane, let's talk about Dakota Docks and Rescue and what the purpose of the, of the program is all about. We take in um, unwanted or abandoned dachshunds, or if a dog is at the shelter and not doing well in the shelter setting, they'll get a hold of us and ask us if we can take them in. We take in the dogs, get them fully vetted. All dogs are spayed, neutered, up to date on shots, dentals if needed, anything else our vet tells us they need. And then we put them into a foster home. Um, they're treated just like your own dog. And we put them on our website. People apply to adopt them and we match them up with the perfect family. So. And why dachshunds? Um, you know, we started out fostering for the Humane Society and an all breed doxy group or an all-breed rescue, and found that it was easier for one thing. Dogs can be real breed snobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Funny. And these guys are little hound dogs, so Doug and I just found that we did really well with the Doxy breed, and I can bring in five Dachshunds, and they do just fine. If I bring in a Shizu or a Maltese in the mix, it just throws everybody off. So <laughs> we really like the Dachshunds. We've gotten to know the breed really well, and just... Yeah. Their antics are just, they are very comical dogs. Right. And, and, and Doug, part of this event on Saturday at the Stampede game is that fans are able to meet some of the dogs that can be adopted. Talk about that process and how fans can participate if they'd like to foster or adopt a, a dachshund. Sure. Um, Diane and a lot of the fosters will have a bunch of dogs there. Uh, and, you know, you can meet them one on one and uh, see if any of them kind of pique your interest. Or if you've gone on the website, he would like to meet the dog in person. This is a good opportunity for that as well. And so, uh, and, uh, and so how many dogs are available? How many dogs do you really bring out to a game? Is there? A um, we we try to bring 15 or so dogs out. It kind of depends on what we currently have in the rescue and who's available to come and who does well in the crowd setting because yeah. there are a lot of people at the Stampede game. Yeah. So, yeah. but we usually have about 15 dogs there for people to meet, and we have online applications they can fill out or we have paper apps they can take with that night too. And dachshund racing is, a, I mean, it's new on the ice even though we've been doing that for a long time, but I've heard of dachshund racing in the summertime on sure. grass and whatnot, so they've had it before. What's the uh, appeal to have them race? 
You know, <laughs> it's just cute because they've got such short <laughs> legs and long <laughs> bodies. It's just the cuteness of it, yeah. You're just yeah. never yeah. quite sure what they're going to do out there. Yeah, the know? ice component to it and it takes yep. it to another level. Yep. So. And some people some people did give us flack when we first started doing it on ice, thinking that it was like Bambi on ice. It was it's slick not, and they yeah. were, yeah, I said, I can, I can walk on the ice. All the owners safely walk on the ice yeah. so the dogs aren't. And they've got... You know, they've got the thick pads on oh, their yeah, feet. No, we tell people, don't necessarily cut their nails short right before the race or anything. So, but it's it's pretty cute. Some of them will go out there and just socialize. Others will, are actually out there to win the race. So let's talk about, now, how can we get a hold of da Dakota Dachshund if, if somebody wanted to foster a, a dog? How, how do we get a hold of you? Um, you can call um, the cell phone, 310-8443. That's my personal cell. Leave a number if you don't get me I do work also a full-time job to help support the doctors sure. <laughs> <laughs> or we have our website Dakota Dachshund Rescue dot org or email us at Dakota Dachshund at hotmail dot com all right uh, Jimmy let's talk about the game itself what are the details if fans want to get tickets and, and whatnot yeah you can go to our website sfstampede.com uh, we've got a link right on the front page there you can click on it, it takes you right to the uh, page we've actually got a few spots open so if you're interested in registering your dog you can do that um, there's also a ticket order form on there and uh, if you uh, print that off and send that in or call it in over the phone five dollars from every ticket that goes through that that's purchased through that order form goes back directly to Dakota Docks and Rescue and then uh, we've got the got races the in between periods yeah yep. so the players will be wearing these players jerseys. Will be wearing those um, we're gonna have that available for a live auction right after the game so you'll have a chance to, to win your favorite players jersey through a live auction we're also gonna have um, some uh, extra jerseys that aren't game worn that we're gonna be raffling off so if you can't stick around or don't want to partake in the live auction you'll still have a chance to win one and this is the only time we wear them it's just uh, it's a limited edition we don't buy any extras and sell them in the the pro shop or anything like that so it's a it's a special event and the proceeds are going to benefit Dakota Docks and Rescue. All right well awesome thank you all for being here today guys. Well, thank you. Good luck this weekend hopefully thank you get you. a chance to run and, and win, win the big prize so thanks for being here everybody. Thank, yeah, you. thank, thank you. So after the break we're going to cook up another big game bite so don't go away.